internet friends, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe. Have you got your volume turned up so you can hear what we're doing here? So I got a friend of mine that's here on Synergy Cafe, dun, 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 and her name is Elizabeth Ingen, and she is a SEO ninja. Are you there? Can you hear me? I can. How Yay. are you? Thanks for having me, Brad. Isn't this cool? I've done these things for with people way over in Thailand and the UK, and here we're kind of in the same city, so that's kind of cool too, but we're not in the same room. But right, yeah, we we're both it. in Minneapolis, but yeah, different rooms. <laughs> yeah, this is the closest thing to real life there is, you know, it's uh, it's close. So what I do with these is I uh, want to ask you some things about your business and how you apply it and all that kind of stuff and who you are and what you do. And then what happens is I take this recording and I beam it up to the Internet and I propagate it around on social media with hashtags and strategically placing them in groups and all that kind of stuff. And then the collaborative other people do the same, and that's what creates the synergy. So let me get on the road, and we'll ask the, the big who question. Who are you? I mean, I don't mean what you do. I mean, you're married, you got kids, you got, are you a golfer? My name is, my name is Elizabeth Engen, very happily single. I've got two kids, a daughter that's 23 and not living at home, almost done with college, and my son is 14, and he's uh, – want to kick him out of the nest, but he's in the nest. So uh, <laughs> life is good. <laughs> now, this is just a sidebar, but I just recently found out at our networking event that you are a pilot. I am a pilot. I never would have known. Pilot. That's a, I, I'd uh, rode in a, one of those Learjets one on the, on the passenger side and looking at all those dials and stuff. It's like, what, what does that all mean? My God. Yeah. It is, it's a lot and you have to learn how to be safe and, yeah, you got to be safe, and yeah, it's not for everybody, but I find it thrilling and fun. So that kind of leads into a little segue into the complexity, because what you do is you do SEO, which is search engine optimization, and that too, in my opinion, can get very complicated. <laughs> that, correct? It, it is very complicated. It changes all the time. All the rules, all the all the techniques changing all the time. Right? Well. Just the other day when we talked, you were so kind as to give me that uh, free analysis thing, and we'll give that web domain so people can get that too. Because looking through that, there's there's a lot of really cool things that so some things are fairly easy to to fix. So I went through the thing, and it shows yes, that's good, no, that's not, and I fixed a couple little things. But there's some things in there that are like these code words that, like like HTML. Some people don't know what that means, or or what is it? CSS cascading style sheets. I know some of that kind of stuff. Other yeah. people probably don't know they shouldn't be doing their own SEO. That's a good phrase. You don't know you shouldn't be doing SEO. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the thing is, is even if you did know the terminology, that doesn't mean you're going to actually know how it works or what to do. So, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't have to get, get heady about it. They're just certain tasks, but absolutely you have to let people know what they're doing kind of like you were saying too the other day it's like would you let a person put in a transmission that has never done it before exactly or would you try and do it yourself i mean yeah i've right. been inside in automatic transmissions there's a lot of gears and you miss one of them now you don't your back wheels don't turn anymore <laughs> yeah and you know honestly brad seo used to be used to be able to do it on your own you used to do it on your own there's a lot of information out there you can do it on your own there's some things that you can do on your own but again, as it changes all the time, you know, I think a, a person that doesn't do it for a living, doesn't do it every single day, really isn't going to know. Well, no. that's what I've, I've always been an advocate of outsourcing your your uh, your weaknesses. And I think SEO is a weakness for most business owners. They shouldn't be doing that themselves. And they probably shouldn't have their uncle do it because he thinks he knows what he's doing. <laughs> because it does change every single moment. It's possible that, that uh, what you knew yesterday, you don't know now. And um, yeah. a, a quick example, I, I was trying to send an email to my wife and she wasn't getting it. We were right side by side and she wasn't getting it. And I thought, what the heck is going on? It's just an email. So I took everything out of my email and just did a blank email with nothing in it. And then I reverse engineered it and I found out that it was the 612 area code here in Minneapolis with parentheses around it. That's what was doing it, was stopping it. Oh, okay. So yeah. something like that, someone like you knows because you are in that flow talking with other seo experts and they can yeah. say hey did you know that they did this thing with the parentheses and you go yeah i learned that <laughs> absolutely yeah absolutely so that's absolutely. a part of it because when i was going through that analysis i saw some things that somehow it, it merged words together so if you got a keyword say you got magic brad and i like to do it as one word but if i didn't 
that wouldn't be the key word anymore, would it? Because it's got a space in it. Well, you could make it that way, but it would take some time and effort. But you're yeah. right. You're right. If if magic bread together is your key word, people wouldn't find you. Well, you know, it it, it kind of depends. Like depending on if you had a whole lot of traffic and a whole, you know, a whole lot of, you know, Google might recognize you. But again, that's taking a lot of work. But well, chances are no. There's a yeah. couple other Brads that are magicians down south that I know of. I know them because I'm a magician. That's what gave me my name, Magic Brad. But they come up when someone uses the two words. Okay. So if I was yeah. smart, I would SEO and I would start taking advantage of the two words so that I ranked higher than them while they're out doing magic shows. I've got optimal SEO. <laughs> well, or if somebody in the local Twin Cities area does want to hire you if you want to be doing magic for people. And I'm not sure if that's what you want to do. Oh, but it's, it's, a, it's, do, a, it's a side Yeah, note. then you want to do it for the local area at least. Yep, exactly. So th this is another sidebar. How did you get into this from being, I mean, for I'm an interest in a pilot all of a sudden to SEO? How did that happen? Well, it didn't happen that way. But how it happened was how I came to be uh, interested in SEO is that I was doing affiliate market. Actually, I'll go back before that. I had a business that I just, that I made a lot of money, but I just was not loving at all at all it just i wasn't helping people i was just earning money and it just was wasn't the right thing for me so at that time the internet started booming and i learned affiliate marketing and i learned that i could promote other people's products and services and i was i was good at doing it and i got a commission off of that and so i did that for several years and then i got together with some people that i met online and we started an agency and that was 8 years ago because it's the same principles the same tools that i was using to promote other people's businesses that i you know i could still do that with an agency right so that that's all seo to be found online because what i found out is that if people want to buy something if people are interested in even information um, but if they want to buy a product or service, what do they do? They go online and they, they look for the specific product service. The phone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Use that. Absolutely. So I hear you sometimes say that if you're not, if you, if you're not properly SEO, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. And when yep. people, when that happens, people don't know because they never saw it on the table. They don't realize that yeah. they don't realize that somebody out there is searching for what they've got and literally probably hundreds of thousands of people possibly are looking for what they've got but they're not yeah. being found because your competitor is so what you're talking yeah. about is is you're missing a lot of money because it, it's really easy money because the person is actually searching for a, a, a native american caterer right they're actually searching for it so if you don't have those those key words in your website they ain't gonna find you they're gonna find your competitor they, yeah, that's right. That's right. And and people do lose money or leave money on, on the table all of the time. And I'm surprised, Brad, every single day what I do is I, I analyze people's businesses and find the most profitable keywords to be found for people. And I'm amazed every single day in everybody's industries how much money can be made. I mean, it's, I'm floored <laughs> all the time. I mean, really. And that's why I love doing what I do, too, because I help people earn millions of dollars for their business. And that means freedom for them. It means, you know, being able to leave a legacy to their family um, and all of that. So I love that. Part well, lead generation is one of the most, you know, you, you need to have. You need to have seeds to make yeah. a plant. So yeah. lead generate. Why not have leads that they're coming to find you as opposed to searching for people? It's more of an attraction marketing kind of thing. And um, yeah. I was going to bring this into the events world, and I forgot how I was going to do that. But, um, well, well, an example is like um, wedding venues or event venues. What, what are they? What's the person going to type? So you need to analyze that and find out what are they going to type in when they're looking for a, a, a venue for their their event. Are they going to type in like event ballroom or event hotel or? So you, you gotta you gotta figure that out, and you do that kind of thing by research and oh that's where i was segueing into the analysis part what's that web domain for doing that free oh, yeah. thing yeah so i don't i'm not sure if people here saw it or not but at brad we analyzed your website yesterday and anybody can do it on their own all you have to do is go to the url that i'm about to give you and you just put in your own url and you'll get it instantly by email and so it what it is it's free 
freewebsiteanalysisnow.xyz. So I'll say it one more time because it's kind of long. <laughs> freewebsiteanalysisnow.xyz, right? And then you bring it and, and the page will say you get a free SEO report card. That's what you're getting. And you type in your URL and it'll send you an email. And what that's what those factors are, it's called on page optimization. Mm -hmm. And you know, the search engines and especially Google likes to see websites, likes to see code in a certain way. Uh, you can have it however you want, but it's going to be more helpful if you give them what they're looking for. And so th what this will do for you, this this SEO report card will tell you how well you're doing and it'll tell you how you can improve. Yeah. And that's the very first thing that we do for people when we work with them is that on page optimization, because that's really critical to get things, all the errors out of there. Yeah, I got mine and I was looking at it and it's it's what I like about it is it's really simple. The stuff in green is okay and the stuff is red needs some help and it's it's yeah. nice and big and easy to read and I guess something like that uh, they get that analysis and then they look at it and go, "Oh my god, I need some help." Or they can go, "Ah, I can get by with that couple thing." But if they need to fix it, they can talk to you. They can talk to me and that that's just the first step. I mean, that's yep. fixing the errors. But in order to be found, if you want to, if somebody out there that's watching wants to be found for their own products or services, that's one piece of it. But the other piece, if you're going to beat your competitors, outrank your competitors, you really need power. And there's a whole lot of strategy behind the power. And I can teach people that, but you know what? It takes hours and hours and hours. it takes a lot of work and a lot of resources in order to do that. That Again, sure. that's why... <laughs> You know, you want to probably go with somebody that knows what they're doing, because if you if you want to spend, you know, 300, 400 of your own hours, great. But, you know, I do it all day well, long. Well, um, I definitely because you're local and stuff, I want to do some like workshops and uh, introductions to SEO because, uh, you know, when people get to meet you and see who you are and stuff and they can they can hear what you have to say, they can kind of determine, do I need to put more into this or can I handle a couple things myself or. But for the most part, I think they should outsource it to someone else, especially with a big company that's trying to capture that market share. I mean, as a magician, it's not too hard to get gigs. <laughs> well, and, and so here's the other thing too, Brad, is that you know if, if, if business owners are out there and if they want to if they want to grow their business, do you really do you they really want to spend the time and the effort trying to do it that way? You know, why don't, why can't they focus on what they're best at and let somebody else? And that's what I've learned in business too. It's like, why, why would I try to do everything myself? Then I want, I don't have any time for what I want to do. Well, I've and always I, said that I work with some photographers and they're busy going networking when they should be shooting photographs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I try and do is I provide a platform for people to meet, connect and do business together. And that way they don't have to chase these elusive event planners the event planners come to them and go what do you do <laughs> and you have you have fun too brad people have fun with you i do i've dedicated myself to this mobile capability so i can just go out and leverage it wherever i am whether i'm at the beach or hanging around in the woods or walking the dog or playing around so that's the way i've designed my life so um if is there's any anything else you want to share maybe a web domain how to get a hold of you and then i'm going to cut this short and beam it up to the internet and we'll uh yeah. So my company is Premier SEO Ninjas. So you can find, you can Google that if you want, or you can go to PremierSEONinjas.com. That's our website. Uh, or, you know, if you just want the free audit, it's freewebsiteanalysisnow.xyz. And then I'm sure you're going to be tagging me in this. So if somebody just wants to send me a message or, or whatnot, um, feel free to do that as well. I mean, I just, I, I love to help businesses grow and uh, do and you know, honestly, Brad, SEO is not for every single company. Sure, it's it's not. Um, but I help people, the people that it w would be helpful for, profitable for. I want to help those people. Right, that's the initial consultation to find out if this is your deal or not. I get it. It's kind of yeah. like a first date. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alrighty. Well, Elizabeth, you want to hang on? We'll chat a little bit further, but I'm going to sign this one off, as they say, and put it in the can and beam it up to the universe. So appreciate yeah. you taking time. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for listening Peace. in. And again, as Brad said, you know, if you, you know, like, comment this, if you are, you're interested in getting together with us at an event, talking about SEO or getting together with other people <laughs> in the events and planning industry, that's what we're planning on doing too. So perfect. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. See you.